Perfection ruined. Eve deceived. <laughs> Adam sinned. Paradise lost. I had a mind-blowing experience today. You know the story. <laughs> Man sinned, they felt guilt and shame. God went looking for them. They played the blame game. God pronounced curses. Let's read Genesis 3. It says, So the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than any wild or domestic animals. You will crawl on your belly. You will be the lowest of animals as long as you live. He said to the woman, I will increase your pain and your labour when you give birth to children. Then he said to the man, you listened to your wife and ate the fruit from the tree, although I commanded you, you must never eat its fruit. The ground is cursed because of you. Through hard work, you will eat food that comes from it every day of your life. The ground will grow thorns and, and thistles for you, and you will eat wild plants. By the sweat of your brow, you will produce food to eat until you return to the ground. God produced a curse on the snake. Never again would it be the creature of awe and beauty that God created it to be. God pronounced a curse on childbirth. Toil, worry, sorrow would accompany bringing children into the world and raising them up would be a continual reflection of their fallen state. God pronounced a curse on the ground. Hard labour, sweat and tears would be required to produce food. The snake, procreation and the ground all got cursed. None of these outcomes were even close to what God had designed. Let's read Galatians 3.13. Everyone who is hung on a tree is cursed. Did you notice that Adam and Eve did not receive the curse for their disobedience and sin? Galatians 3.14 tells us who did. Christ paid the price. Jesus did. He was cursed. The curse that rightly belonged to Adam, Jesus took. So we don't have to. And that's the mind-blown moment. John 3.16 says, God loved the world this way. He gave his only son so that whoever believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. Reach out and take that eternal life. It's yours. It's free. Somebody else has paid the price, a hefty price. Give up that stubbornness, that pride, that self-reliance. Here, let me show you how. Say to God right now, God, thank you for sending your son to take the curse for me. I want to accept, I want to believe, I want to be your child. Take this burden of stubbornness and pride and self-sufficiency from me and teach me to run to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Do you want to know more? Do you want help? Send us an email and we will support you or find someone in your area to support you in your decision. It's because of Jesus' precious gift. I can say to you right now, have a blessed Easter.